hello welcome back at this time uh, I hope we have covered a lot of this uh, script that is generated by Vuegen and we, we, we learned a lot of techniques like parameterization correlations and content checkpoints and a and, and lot of others so that we can we can customize our script so one more thing is very important is that how to debug a script so for debugging I think mostly we are using so far something LR output message and also notice that sometime we want to see during this uh, you know while we while we are developing the script we also like to know what kind of uh, you know log files now what kind of logs are coming and to do that what we have done we have gone to runtime setting and then we have gone to the log and here by clicking on enabling logs and you know by 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 configuring this this dialog box we can also configure the logging mechanism so so notice that the moment i click the moment i set the runtime setting that runtime setting is effective for all the script okay that means that like let's say if we make the extended log on then using this runtime setting then that means that extended log is on for the whole duration of the script and notice also like you know the moment you you, you make this extended log you will get a lot of log messages and sometimes which might be difficult to analyze so the another option is that we can turn on the log for a particular API that means I'll go here to runtime setting and I will turn off the logs but programmatically I can turn on the log by calling a function called LR underscore set underscore debug underscore message uh, I don't remember much about this function so therefore what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the help to access the help you, you should push F1 button okay so it is going to give me detail about LR set debug message and here is going to give me two arguments so one argument is message level message level means whenever we are logging whenever we are going to runtime setting we have different levels of logging one is send message only when error occurs and second is always send message in always send message we have standard log and also we have extended log and inside extended log we have parameter substitution data return and advanced stress and so on so essentially all this the behavior whatever you are seeing here can be manipulated programmatically by this API called LR set debug message and if you put LR set debug message and give two flags the number one the first flag is the message level and the message level can be found here the message level in the C programming language is like if you give this one that means you are disabling the log okay and if you are putting this one that means you are giving the standard log okay and if you are giving this one that means extended log let's copy this thing and then okay so let's copy that thing and put it here so essentially this is the first flag and then what we are doing we are putting into the extended log and the next parameter here was that next parameter was on or off right so two constants like you know LR switched on is to switch on the parameter and LR switch off is to switch off the parameter so I'm going to copy this one and so I'm so so let's put LR switch on so by doing this what we have done here that we have turned on the debug message for this script and then just after the call is done okay I'm going to call again LR set debug message and then here what I'm going to do I'm going to turn off the log what is the function to turn the message log to disable so this is the constant to disable so this is the flag to disable the message so let's go to our action and then disable log and then again you just make it turned on LR switch on so that means here I'm going to 
disable the message so if I do this and let's run this thing what I'm going to do I'm going to get only the message only the debug message for for this API all right and also notice that and also notice that whenever you are going for extended log okay then you also have three more parameters which is I there are three more configurations either you have to parameter substitute data return by server or advanced test similarly if you go to the function reference and in the function reference you have if, if you want to get result data then what you have to do you have to get first this flag then you have to or okay then you have to or with lr message class result data so that means if you want to if you're intended to figure out the result data then this is the one that this is the one that you're going to give like first thing is that an lr extended log then you have to or right so that is the or symbol and then what you give you have to give lr msg class result data so let's find out what is that one lr so this one right okay so this way you have or two flags okay so by by doing this thing this is equivalent to your extended log and then data returned by server if you want to simulate parameter by substitution then if you go to the function libraries so if you go to function reference you will see parameter substitution is done by lr message underscore class underscore parameter and this thing will be ORed with this flag okay so this is how you can uh, selectively uh, you can selectively put debug for the for the APIs and this is very imp uh, this is very useful when you have a lengthy script where the mess you know whatever you don't want to really go through the the, the messages here in the in, in, in the log file instead you can just set the logs for those specific uh, APIs and notice that the moment you set the logs virtual user generator is going to have more work to do to log those log files and all those things so therefore in the production in the benchmark scenario ensure that you do not have any of this kind of scenario in any of this kind of statements notice that the run that whatever you write here this you know these statements these statements take precedence over the runtime settings so that means if you if you, even if you in the runtime setting you you disable logging however if you have this kind of statement then that will also going to enable the logging so this is only for the develop the, this then this is very useful in the script development and ensure that you do not log, you do you do not have any any logging going on when you are running the actual the when you are running the benchmark second thing you can have a toggle switch point like so click on this you you can have a breakpoint so you can have breakpoint in the in the in, in the in the script so that you can debug by stepping over and waiting and, and by stepping over the script okay so so what I did now I created a, 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 a toggle breakpoint and then I say run then let's run and now the, the execution control is waiting on this thing and you can do something like this you can um, you can basically go through that uh, so basically you can you can go uh, you can you can step by by clicking on run step by step or f10 so this is how you are going to debug notice that in the in the line number 11 because we are putting all this debug messages and all those things we got the complete log file from the server okay so this is how uh, using you know this kind of lr set debug messages you can do uh, error handling uh, so you, you can you can so by using this lr set debug message you can debug your script thank you